Good day, everybody. I am Master Sean Forty Two, and welcome to a new Let's Play. Um, we shall be doing Let's Play of Knit Stories, specifically The Machine. This is one of the few Metroidvania games I've ever played, and personally, one of my favorites. Then again, being one of the few Metroid games I've ever played, this should be one of my favorites, right? If you wanted to read that, you can pause the video. Sorry about that, just... Alright, so... Here we're introduced to Junie. Press S to jump, the aerial keys to move around. That, I believe, gives us the ability to run. And we just keep going this way. This is to change between easy and hard mode. Let's try hard mode, or normal mode. Like, there's a difference. Those are save points, you press down, and you save your game. Simple. And that's spiked toast. And that's porcupine. If you could tell those are enemies, speaking of enemies, here's one right now. Um, reminds me of those Venus fire spitter traps from Super Mario World and Th Brothers 3. As you can see, the level ends here. However, it doesn't. Again, Metroidvania game. Avoid the porcupine at all cost. Save, I guess. Let's go down. This gives us the ability to wall jump, Mega Man X style, or climb up walls. And I have no idea what that is. By the way, there's these little enem these little things here that are just here to make the world feel less lonely, I guess. They don't serve any purpose to the plot, they don't do anything, they don't give you any magic treats or anything, they're just there. Nice little things to have. Yeah, this world is absolute shit in it. Well, if you were actually reading the plot, you would know what happened. Basically, there's a machine, somebody found the machine, we have to go find it and turn it off. And flying globular spikes. This game is really great when it comes to telling you where to go. It's also really great at trying to kill you. Like that. And that's a Magnemite. Um, be very careful. Water kills you. Don't think otherwise. Junie can't swim. And that's a giant spike box that jumps when I jump. Maybe normal. Oh, fuck. Must be a normal uh, mode exclusive, I guess. And that can happen too. Yeah, never encountered these guys before. Sorry. There we go. Up there, if you have no idea what that is, we'll be getting it later. And this is the infamous cockroach bunny. Why, why is it infamous? No reason. It's just there. Very solemn game. I like it. And this thing apparently shoots gumballs. There's a save point down there. Since this is normal mode, I might as well take it. Any differences between easy and normal mode? Well, more enemies. Like the gumball expensive dispenser there. And 
can take the save point. You can see the difference between what can kill you and what can't. And if you don't, don't worry, there's a ability that'll let you do so later. Spoilers. More co another cockroach bunny. And this is the ability to high jump. What's it do? Heinz jump. Makes things a little easier. That's a dead end. You can do more exploring down here. Avoid the UFO with legs. Save. And unfortunately, we can't continue on here because the high jump, despite being much better jump, we can't continue on there because it's too high. Avoid the gumball dispenser. Um, nah, I don't need to go down there. Maybe I do. I don't know. Careful now. Don't want to fall. And then there's this for some reason. No reason to go over there, you just have to come up here. Save. Very generous with the save points, huh? Well, it is a one hit, you're dead game. It's just not really annoyingly difficult. Huh. Yeah. Oh, the soundtrack of this game is just absolutely wonderful. What little soundtrack there really is. It's a simple game. Let's fall down here. And let's go in here, why not? It's an underwater laboratory. Avoid those water bubbles. Remember, water kills you in this game, so... Even the water bubbles can kill you. Don't think you're set just because they're water bubbles now they kill you. Jump. Hit the save point just in case, and let's continue on. Lasers. Sorry, lasers! And fish. Wonderful. In easy mode, I'm pretty sure they fire at a much faster rate, or not much faster, much lower. If they fire at a much faster rate, then what the hell? Oh, ouch! And this, I have no idea what this does. I forgot. Um. If you have um, items, I believe it's the... Which button is it that brings it down? Ah, eh, whatever. Ow. Fuck. Okay, it's the Q button. The Q button brings down which items you have. Which items you need. If you're wondering what those keys do, they're just there for a secret ending that I never bother getting because it's kind of pointless. And we're back here. And this thing again. Oh, so that's what it is. It's the radar. Crap can get past it, but what happens is basically that you start glowing red when there's an enemy nearby. Meaning these little guys are all friendly. And after that, I think now's the time to end this video. So, I shall see you guys next time.